Have you ever seen that low fuel light come on and thought, I'll just push it a few more miles? Well, that quick decision could cost you way more than just a trip to the gas station. In today's video, we're breaking down eight serious things that happen when you drive on low fuel, from damaging your engine to getting stuck in the middle of nowhere. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you, thanks for riding with me again. And if you're new here, welcome aboard. You're in the right place. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Now, let's jump right in. Driving your car on a low fuel level might seem harmless, especially if you're trying to stretch your budget or avoid a detour to the gas station. However, consistently running your car with a fuel gauge near EE can have serious consequences for your vehicle's performance and long-term health. Below are eight serious things that happen when you drive on low fuel. Number 1. Fuel pump damage. One of the most immediate risks of driving on low fuel is damaging your fuel pump. In most vehicles, the fuel pump is located inside the gas tank and it's designed to be submerged in fuel, which cools and lubricates it. When you run low on fuel, the pump can overheat due to lack of cooling, causing it to wear out faster. This component is not cheap to replace and often requires dropping the fuel tank to access. Over time, the constant stress can lead to failure, leaving you stranded or facing expensive repairs. Additionally, air entering the fuel line from a dry tank can make the pump work harder. The pump also picks up debris that settles at the bottom of the tank, increasing wear. Continuous strain reduces the pump's efficiency and lifespan. This damage isn't always immediate but accumulates over time. Number 2. Engine misfires and hesitation. Low fuel can lead to inconsistent fuel flow, which causes engine misfires or hesitation during acceleration. When the engine isn't getting the proper amount of fuel, combustion becomes irregular. This can result in sputtering, jerking motions, or temporary loss of power while driving. These interruptions aren't just uncomfortable, they can also be dangerous, especially in heavy traffic or on highways. Misfires increase exhaust emissions and can trigger your check engine light. The erratic fuel delivery puts stress on engine components like the spark plugs and fuel injectors. Over time, these parts may become fouled or fail prematurely. If the engine continuously runs lean, too much air, not enough fuel, it may suffer from internal damage. These issues can lead to poor performance and reduced fuel economy. Proper engine operation relies on stable fuel pressure, which low fuel levels compromise. Number 3. Fuel contamination risks. Sediment and debris naturally accumulate at the bottom of your fuel tank over time. When you drive on low fuel, the pump starts drawing fuel from this bottom layer, where the contaminants settle. These particles can clog the fuel filter, reducing fuel flow to the engine. If the contaminants pass through the filter, they may reach the injectors, causing blockages or damage. Clogged injectors lead to uneven fuel distribution and poor combustion, affecting engine efficiency. In severe cases, debris can damage the combustion chamber or cylinder walls. Contaminated fuel can also harm emission systems like the catalytic converter. Fuel system cleaning and part replacement may be required, which can be costly. Preventive maintenance becomes more frequent due to such contamination. A consistently low tank increases the likelihood of these issues developing over time. Number 4. Risk of being stranded. Perhaps the most obvious consequence of low fuel is running out entirely and getting stranded. This can be extremely inconvenient and potentially dangerous depending on your location. Imagine being stuck on a remote road at night or in heavy traffic with no fuel station nearby. Waiting for roadside assistance or walking to get fuel wastes valuable time and can pose safety risks. Additionally, modern fuel gauges are not always perfectly accurate, especially when fuel levels are very low. Your car might show a few miles left, but sudden inclines or sloshing fuel could cut off supply unexpectedly. If this happens in the middle of a highway or intersection, it can create a hazard for you and other drivers. Frequent low fuel events increase the risk of such occurrences. It's not worth a gamble for the sake of delaying a refuel. Number 5. Potential for vapor lock. 
In hot weather or with older vehicles, low fuel levels can lead to a condition known as vapor lock. This happens when fuel in the line vaporizes due to heat, preventing the pump from delivering liquid fuel to the engine. Without a consistent flow of liquid fuel, the engine may stall or fail to start. Low fuel increases the likelihood of vapor lock because there's more empty space in the tank for heat and vapor to accumulate. Fuel pumps struggle with vapor instead of liquid, leading to pressure loss and delivery problems. Though less common in modern fuel-injected systems, vapor lock can still occur under certain conditions. Once it happens, you might need to let the engine cool before it restarts. In some cases, persistent vapor lock can damage engine components. Keeping the tank above a quarter full helps avoid this problem. Number 6. Decreased fuel efficiency. You might assume that running on low fuel doesn't affect your gas mileage, but it can. When the fuel pump struggles to maintain proper pressure due to low levels, the fuel-air mixture becomes inconsistent. This leads to inefficient combustion and higher fuel consumption. In addition, contaminants drawn from the tank can clog filters and injectors, further disrupting fuel flow. The engine then compensates by burning more fuel to maintain power, reducing overall efficiency. Plus, driving in fear of running out may cause erratic driving, quick stops, sudden accelerations, which further waste fuel. A struggling engine works harder than necessary, leading to unnecessary fuel burn. The cost of this inefficiency accumulates over time, offsetting any money saved by delaying refueling. A properly pressurized and clean fuel system is critical for fuel economy. Keeping the tank at least a quarter full helps ensure better mileage. Number 7. Stress on the catalytic converter. When the engine runs on an insufficient or contaminated fuel supply, incomplete combustion can occur. This causes unburned fuel to enter the exhaust system, which can damage the catalytic converter. The converter is designed to burn off small amounts of unburned hydrocarbons, but excessive fuel causes it to overheat. Overheating reduces its effectiveness in controlling emissions and can lead to total failure. Replacing a catalytic converter is costly and may be required to pass emissions tests. A failing converter also impacts engine performance and fuel efficiency. Over time, excess heat from unburned fuel can crack or melt internal parts. Warning signs include the check engine light, sulfur smells, and rattling sounds. Running on low fuel contributes to this by destabilizing the combustion process. Protecting your emission system starts with proper fuel delivery. Number 8. Battery and starter wear during repeated cranking. If your fuel tank is nearly empty, starting the car becomes more difficult, especially after it's been parked on a slope or for a long time. The pump might not be able to pull enough fuel to the engine immediately, leading to repeated attempts to crank the engine. Each failed start draws power from the battery and stresses the starter motor. Over time, this reduces battery life and can cause the starter to burn out. Replacing these components isn't cheap, and a drained battery might leave you stranded. Also, the more often you crank a dry engine, the more wear you put on other parts like ignition coils and plugs. Frequent dry starts are an avoidable risk if you keep your tank filled. Ensuring adequate fuel keeps your ignition system from unnecessary wear and tear. It's better to refuel than to risk starting trouble. Alright, now you know exactly why keeping that tank full is more than just peace of mind, it's protecting your car and your wallet. Did any of these surprises catch you off guard? Let us know in the comments below, and share your ran out of gas horror story if you've got one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on more car maintenance tips. Stay fueled up with all our car care videos. See you in the next one, and remember, don't ride on E.